Challenge 14 is quite a simple challenge to complete. Just brings a one new concept in really, which is when you've got multiple conditions for selection. So let's have a little look at the algorithm. It wants us to input the traffic light color. It wants us to, if the traffic light color is green, we will go. So it's basically a traffic light system, isn't it? If the traffic light color is amber, I'll put get ready. Otherwise, I'll put stop. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to teach you the easiest way. First of all, we need to think about our input. So asks the user to input traffic light color. So easiest way to do for that is literally traffic light color. In this particular case, everything is a string, so we do not need any integer or any casting to change it into a different variable. Enter the traffic light color. Now we're going to use this for our if statement. So if traffic light color equals green you notice that the IDE for Python the integrated development environment indents the code automatically for you so you know that it's in the correct position rather than over here to the left when there will there'll be an error so in this particular case it says output go so we need to do print and it just says go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that whole set of code because it's going to be almost identical for the next bit. Now when we have multiple conditions we need to use an else if statement so in Python the code for that is elif. So this is our first condition. If that's true it will print go. If it's false, it will move on to the next um, condition to test. So in this case, it's looking for amber and it's going to output get ready. We're going to do the same thing again. This will help you understand when we've got multiple conditions, the best way of doing it. Uh, stop. Sorry, red. Now technically that program will work and what I like to do, the way I like to program, is I like to put the different options in and then have some sort of else for if they've put an error in. So you've typed something wrong. That will mean if they type anything other than green, amber or red, it will come up with this. Okay. In this particular algorithm, it does say otherwise output stop. So what it's looking for you to do is kind of have the else statement as stop. But I don't think that's a particularly efficient way of doing it because now if they type anything other than green and amber, it will say stop. And that's not particularly efficient code because they could accidentally press enter or accidentally type a letter in and it'll say stop so my way is more efficient because now they have to type red in for it to say stop now this program can be improved but let's just make sure that it works first so challenge 14 run oh Silly me. Right, so the error here is syntax error and we need to have two equals because it's a comparison. So it needs to be a comparison operator. I've automatically just fixed the others because of the same error. Enter the traffic light colour. Green. It says go. Let's do amber. Get ready. And red stop so we know that all 
three of those are working. One thing that we could do to make it better, which we've looked at before, is add in slash n. And that will move us down to the next line so that when we input, it's not directly next to the text here, which makes it a bit confusing. Now I've deliberately done this because I've typed in red with an uppercase letter and it's saying you've typed something wrong. Now I haven't, I just haven't typed this exactly the same as it is in the code, which is here. So again, we can use this function dot lower and it's going to automatically make the code lowercase. So now that we've added this extra little function at the end, it's going to automatically uh, take whatever the user inputs and convert it to lowercase. And that way it will make sure that it matches whichever um, input you're putting in. So let's run it. Let's try typing red in uppercase letters. And it still says stop as it's supposed to because the computer has converted that to lowercase. So that is challenge 14, a little bit of extra selection that you've learned, which is having multiple conditions. And also just a recap of using the dot lower function to convert things to lowercase.